Good morning. So today's video is on my uh, Wrecker, my first gen Dodge Wrecker factory tow truck. And this is what it's gonna be about, that hydro boost. A lot of people make it so complicated to put a hydro boost in this truck. It's fucking easy. This is from a, I think it's a 98 and a half or 1998 hydro boost all the way up to 2002 out of a second gen dodge vacuum pump that bolts right up power steering pump because you need your return that goes over here and then you return to the actual to that that return goes to the actual box and then that line comes up here and then this one goes to the power steering it's very easy i did an extra hole there and there and then mount it right up to the actual foot peg at the back, which the foot peg is higher. But, you know, I'm not a fucking picky per. I'm not a piss up. Uh, sorry. A picky person. As you can see, look at the rod right there. You know, I got to do something to cover that hole, but check it out. See better. Much more better. Um, Here's the part number for the two, ho for the two hoses if you get one without no hoses on your uh, hydro boost 8031 these are your high pressure hoses that will thread it in and then there you go three five two three four very easy super simple and i know the brakes are going to work much better um this truck is driven every day next i'm going to do a rear conversion on this on this uh, axle it's a dana 70 u2 with three five fours but it's the heavy duty version as you can see i have the studs so it's 35 spline to the actual shaft that goes to the carrier this here i'm actually going to change this system to an auto grip system so now i'm going to do electric over hydraulic so in that way i could get more power in that boom i'm going to do that and um it's going to be basically kind of like a repo truck it's gonna hook up everything automatically, which is easier. Pick up junk quicker and go from there. I gotta deal with a couple of hydraulic leaks that I have on my PTO. But um, this was super duper easy. You see, I created my two, uh, you're gonna have to buy these fittings, these two fittings here. I don't know the size of the fittings, but you could buy them on a kit. They're, um, they're actually metric size. So, and it goes down there to your actual, you have a valve down there that's called, um, what is that valve called? I forgot the name of it, but it's, it's a valve that splits off and it goes, the brakes, they go, the valve sends one line to the front, to the to one line here, to the, that side, and two to the back. And then you have your ABS valve in the rear that splits the line off to the left side of the axle, to the right side of the axle project on this truck you know hit me up in the comments if you want to know a little more detailed information on how to do this hydro boost all i have is uh 100 bucks i got this used and that used um if your truck has the old style pump which is from my non non-intercooled as you can see there i was converted already over to this style pump because the other one blew up and destroyed my uh camshaft gear but i got it all up and running this as you can see there's an oil feed line that if you don't have it you buy the oil feed line and it goes connected to the bottom here as you can see which is leaking a little bit of oil still got to tighten it up a little more um you know and then your power steering pump which if you're gonna go hydro boost you need the one from second gen 89 2001 2002 actually because it has a return that goes to your hydro boost which goes to your pump so very easy when i first got it and read on the forums the people made it complicated and they said you got to do this got to do that i don't mind the pedal being a little higher than normal it doesn't bother me i'm looking for braking power and as you can see it's a five speed and look it's not that high it's a little higher but it doesn't affect anything so 
that's done. I put the part numbers in there so you can figure it out. If you're gonna buy everything new, it's gonna cost you a lot more. But I bought some good used parts, put them in, let's see how it works and I'll keep you updated.